Welcome back. While following the passing of Namibian President Haige Gengarb, a new leader has to be installed to take over the reins as well as ensure stability as well as a smooth transition of power for the Namibian people. And for more on this, we have on the line SABC News International Editor Sophie Mogwena. Sophie, a very good evening to you. So talk to us about the process of swearing in a new leader in such cases where sitting president passes on, particularly in that country in Namibia. So clearly they did follow the constitution as it has been outlined in that important document, that's a guiding document for the country. And uh, to avoid a vacuum this afternoon, uh, the former vice president, Nangolo Mbumba, was sworn in as the president of Namibia. And that led to the... Uh, Foreign Affairs Minister Netundu Nandi Daitwa to then take over the position of being a vice president. And the reason being, you'd recall that the party has nominated uh, Netundu Nandi Daitwa to be their candidate for elections. As you know, that Namibia will be going to elections this year. Mm -hmm. And therefore, they have been able to manage the transition. And it's not uh, the first time you'd recall their founding father uh, when he left the president that came in. It was a smooth transition. Even now, under this eventuality, Namibia has been able to handle the transition as it is supposed to be handled. And therefore, that spoke to today when you look at what happened earlier on. That spoke to how the democracy has matured in Namibia and how the institutions are able to hold any shocks in terms of whatever happens in the country. So all the institutions were available to ensure that there was this smooth transition. And therefore, Namibia has got the new president, Nangolo Mbumba. Mm. And Sophie, so you're basically saying uh, the former vice president is now the president until, of course, uh, such time that Namibia goes to the polls. So how does this then in total affect the current cabinet? There will be changes here and there because as the new president, he is going to look at who uh, can come in to strengthen cabinet. And I think uh, that will be in consultation with the vice president who will be the advisor of the president because uh, this is the person, if Swapo is able to win elections, will become a president of Namibia or the president of Namibia. And that will be history because this will be the first time a woman in Namibia is a head of state. And mm -hmm. therefore, I think uh, as a liberation organization, Swapo has been able to demonstrate that uh, it doesn't mean a liberation organization can't handle issues of succession, but that can be done by any liberation organization that has got a better plan in terms of succession. And mm -hmm. also, as uh, much as there's always tension in any political party, be the opposition, be the governing party, but you have to manage those tensions so that when you experience uh, challenges such as this one, you are able to manage uh, the transition and mm. you have the support of members of that particular party. Mm. And in closing, Sophie, very quickly, any information at this stage regarding the funeral arrangements? Uh, they haven't announced the funeral yet, and including the elections, but uh, uh, I spoke to people who are in Namibia, some are saying elections will still continue this year, but I'm not so sure about the date. Therefore, it looks like Namibia is clear in terms of uh, how it has to move forward, and they are not going to be disrupted by the current uh, eventuality, the passing on of uh, President Hagen Gops. All right, thank you for that. That is SABC International Editor on the passing of Namibian President Haige Gengob, as well as the new leadership that has since been installed.